Hi, my name is Curtis, and today we're going to be talking to you about Gentile's taxonomy. And what that is, it's a classification system of motor skills from the simplest form to the most complex. A little background on it, it was originally created to help aid physical therapists in assessing their patients and giving them the appropriate movements that they need to do to get better. Today, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating throwing a ball. And it will be from the simplest form to the most complex. Thank you. In this video, Curtis will be demonstrating 1A of Gentile's taxonomy, which is body stability and no object being used. So he is shadow throwing a ball to demonstrate the movement. There are stationary regulatory conditions, which means the environment is stable and is not changing. And there is no intertrial variability, so the movement, environment, and object do not vary. For these examples, Curtis is doing 2B of Gentile's taxonomy. 2B includes body stability and an object as well. There are stationary regulatory conditions, which means the environment is stable and not changing. There is intertrial invariability in the two videos, meaning the objects being thrown are varied. In the first video, Curtis is throwing a tennis ball. In the second video, Curtis is throwing a volleyball. Due to the size difference of the objects, Curtis has to alter his throw. In this video, Curtis will be demonstrating 3C of Gentile's taxonomy, which is body transport, so his body is now moving or shifting, but there is still no object being used. He is shadowing the motion of throwing a ball with a body shift or pivot and a foot lift. There are regulatory conditions in motion, so his whole body is in motion now and there is no intertrial variability, so no variations in the environment or object. In this video, Curtis will be demonstrating 4D of Gentile's taxonomy. Section 4D concerns body transport with object manipulation, in motion regulatory conditions, and intertrial variability. Body transport is conveyed by Curtis lifting his leg and pivoting his body while throwing the objects. He, therefore, he's changing the orientation of his body so it is not in the same position or at a constant speed the entire time. Intertrial variability is shown by throwing both a tennis ball and a volleyball. The object's weight and size differ, causing his grip, the force at which the object is thrown, and ultimately the distance the object is thrown to all change. This represents intertrial variability because there is a change in regulatory conditions from the first trial while still performing the same action of throwing an object. 